Oh, okay, it's time for interview. Tell me something about yourself. Me? I grew up in a little town in China. Then I moved to the US. My whole life is very interesting. Let me tell you my first school homework. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee. I help engineers and international professionals to become a product manager and business leader. Today, we're talking about the most common asked question, the first question you will go into when you have a job interview. Tell me something about yourself. This sounds very easy, but there's a lot behind it. First of all, the reason people ask you tell me something about yourself was because maybe... Damn, I just got this resume. Interviews up. Okay, yeah. You had a chance to read the resume. Okay, so candidate, tell me something about yourself so that I can read your resume at the same time. So sometimes the interviewers, they didn't have a time to memorize your entire resume. So therefore they asked you this question. But in reality, what they meant when they asked you this question is, why are you qualified for this job? So I developed a specific framework for you guys to follow. The four step framework is going to help you to crack this quick question tell me something about yourself let's really understand two most important things first you need to make it short and concise and second you need to make it very impressive so that people can memorize it right away you can always say it up front and saying that i'm going to give you a quick overview of my experience if you have any questions feel free to stop me and ask for more details so therefore you should always come up with something short and get ready for someone to dig in for more questions Step one is your name. You can say, I am Dr. Nancy Lee. So in this examples, I'm going to give you the product management type of framework because I specialize in teaching product managers. All the examples will be more specialized in product management related answers. Okay, after you say my name, Dr. Nancy Lee, the next step is tell them how many years of experience you have in relation to the job. For example, I would say, I have eight years experience developing and launching technology product for you if you do not have that many years of experience you can say i have two internship experience related to as a product owner or i have four years product design experience everything you say has to be related to the job you're applying for for example in this case is a product manager job now step three is also the most important part you need to say something they're gonna hurt it and fall off the chairs Something very impressive. For the specific impressive story, the way you structure this is you can tell them towards any experience you had that make you stand out compared with everybody else. For example, for the technical product manager role, if I apply for, I would say I'm the youngest engineering PhD. Show them technical and also I am the youngest engineering PhD, you know? So it's pretty impressive compared with everyone else. And in addition, Specifically for product manager job, I will emphasize on the product launch you had before. For example, I would say I launched a smart cities product. That product was awarded as a mayor's best practice in 2017. It was also quickly deployed in 10 different cities. So that you're able to show that the impact you have made instead of I wrote requirements, I did design, but so what? Please say something very short and concise about the impact you have made. And then if you have long career promotions, for example, you launched several products, you can also show them your career promotion. For example, you can say, because the success of the product, I was promoted to lead a team of senior product managers to build a product portfolio for a platform, yada yada, right? So this is also show your leadership potential for the next job. If you do not have leadership experience, you can also summarize regarding I have launched 10 different products in the technology sector or in retail industry. Two of those was awarded as something something else or two of those had millions of users. So everything you say has to be result driven. You can save all the details later on for the interview itself. But in reality, once you hook them using your impact, they definitely would like to ask you more. This is what you need to do. Now, step four is you need to summarize regarding what you're looking for. So if this is a networking situation, you can tell others, I am looking for the product leadership position or I'm looking for the product manager position in the supply chain industry. Now this is what you're looking for. If at the job interview, you can pivot it as 
I'm looking forward to join a company where I'm interested in using AI, whatever cutting edge technology to make impact and help consumers to address problems. So this is emphasized on what you are looking for and type of roles make you excited. So this is the four step framework to answer these questions. Tell me something about, about yourself. So the rule of thumb is that for each body point you have, you may have like two sentences or max to emphasize on the impacts you have, then shortly with one sentence summarize what you're looking for, and of course one sentence talk about how many years experience you have. All right, so today this is a framework I share with you. Believe me, this is very, very impactful that it's going to open lots of doors for you at networking event and also at the first round of the interview. Please make sure you practice. To make it easy for you, I already create a step-by-step -step guide with examples of how I apply my own experience into the specific framework. You can download the guide at the end of this video down below. And most importantly, I also send out weekly email about internal referrals because I understand during these uncertain times, there are not enough jobs out there. But if I know any like uh, recruiters or my other hiring manager looking for jobs, I'm going to put those internal referral information in my uh, weekly newsletter. So therefore, make sure you subscribe. You can find the link down below. And also, before you go, please do me a favor. If you find this video interesting and useful, please destroy the like button for the Google algorithm and I will see you next time. Bye.